I bet where the bros where do that voice over? Where the bros where do that voice over? Where in the you there abroad? Man see road well. You there abroad? Is he a member of this church? That was some dope stuff right there. Put your hands together for him. That was that was fantastic. Praise the Lord. Is that the first time anybody coming up here is going to say anything churchy? Praise the Lord. I, I didn't say it as a punctuation mark. I mean praise the Lord. Though. All right, people of God, please open your Bibles to the book of James chapter 4, verse 3, the hustle version. I read, ye hustle and receive not, because ye hustle and miss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Turn to your neighbor and say, I shall not hustle and miss. Amen. Let's share the grace. Okay, make I still go on small. No, no share grace yet. Okay. Uh, master control. Give us slide one. You don't say with a when they run my promo like that. Now nah, that can you see? see. <laughs> when I first I think seen my voice. I said when I record promo for myself. That was beautiful. And it's going to tie into something we're going to talk about much later. So you've heard it all, or maybe at least part of it. I know some people are thinking, ah, I agree, creative, new film, Netflix, cinema, teaching. What don't you do? I know they rob. I know the thief. <laughs> Any other thing, I'm down with it. I almost see Basil. Any rapper in the house? I want freestyle. I don't ask you. <laughs> so, yes. Um... My friends call me Frank Donga, and I do all sorts. I don't also, I don't, I, I, I don't do my only two. My only two also, I don't do them. You know now when hustle is still in the fresh state, that's when you call it hustle. Somebody say hustle, you know, with the accent, hustle. But when the practical come, now you say, Baba, they also, the S becomes Z. That's when you say, man, nah, no, you know, in the streets, there's hustle and then there's also. Well, like the scripture says, God bless the reading of his word. It's not enough to just hustle. You need to hustle wisely. You need to hustle right. And that's why we're here today. Let's start by way of a little introduction. Slide two. You don't hear my matter, now make I hear your own matter. How many people here are students, undergraduates? Real quick. Okay, one, two, three, four, a few. Not a shame now. I know say you there as just the chop free food, but no, not feel bad. Not be your fault. Everybody don't pass through that breakfast. I don't chop my own too. Strike that year. She in 1990. Which in 2003, that strike. We did, for our mind that time, we like to see the world won't end. You know, things were you know, really turning on its own. Ah, they want to kill us three months at home. Little did we know that you people will spend one year at home. I know they mock you, but they, they shock me. One year at home. The last strike that happened, when they say strike was strike was over, <laughs> I feel bad saying something like this because I not think when I go see now people say now nah, comedian it just give us vibes. <laughs> Things are happening. One bros had to go and ask his classmates, say, "Baba, waiting with the story again." <laughs> elect, elect. No be make engine. Listen, Baba, na make. Nice one, nice one. First class of lecture. Let they look at it. Bye bye. You should have seen a right class with it. I not connect. He said, Omo, Omo, just own up. Just look straight. You be like seeing a mass come class, we enter. <laughs> Things are happening. How many people are entrepreneurs here? You run your own business. Don't be ashamed now. Nah. Yeah, good. How many people are civil servants? Or you work in nine to five? Beautiful. I like to see that. I like to see that. Uh, who else we never touch? Uh, how many people? Eh? Polly. How many people are delegates here? Yeah. <laughs> I know they won't hear that word politician again. You know they disguise. You'll be delegate. Where they delegate you put? Now you sit in front of monitor. <laughs> Happy delegation. All the best. <laughs> politician, huh? If I catch any politician for you, I may go report you to FCC. Ozu, which Ozu? I bet make 
we will be Nigerians, more we know ourselves. If I'm a politician here, yeah, please just use the back door. I escape. Escape now when you have time. Before you see my red eye. That's good. So we have a mix of students and entrepreneurs, uh, nine to five workers. Uh, okay, make no like say I'm not all. Last category. How many people are like, you know, in the process? Now wow. They know even they they only open new topic in front of you. Don't hook. Now people like you, now they tell lecturers, we still have ten more minutes. <laughs> Sir, we have pre-period tomorrow. You can come and continue your lecture. I saw many people are in the process. In the process of what? Must you know everything. But now that you ask, like, I mean, about to complete it. Like, it's almost there. <laughs> about to go in the process of Jaqua. <laughs> Nobody, thank God. You see? Okay. So that we will not be wasting each other's time. Because that one, too, I get package for people who want Jaqua. That's international also, that one day. So nobody say, I know, you understand. But if you are like, maybe first quarter of Jaqua plans, anybody? I, I trust him, nobody will raise that. Niger. Ordinary to travel to Lagos. Say, when you go to Lagos tomorrow? Eh, hey, I'm not too sure. Now, like, <laughs> when you fly to UK, you be like, I say the ticket people save, they never, now that night, too. Now, following week, you call you say, Papa, no verse. Even me, I don't know. God just did it. Now, God. God did it. You know, no, say you book, you book a ticket. Now, chariots of fire carry you reach airport. We know they ask those questions to Nigeria now. Nah. When your trip? But anyway, whatever your plans are, quarter, middle, or late, Japa, may it come to fruition in Jesus' name. Now, these people won't travel. Now, so you take no people, you say their plan don't mature. You don't write. Don't worry, we are with you. The banker guy, buddy, came and said, if people can go, some of us will remain. I don't know who I'm in the talk. Because I don't know when I register for him. I'll say, hey, I don't know. Make nobody carry. Don't, don't add my name to any list. Please, I beg you. Anything God wants to do in my life, allow him. Let's go and let's go. I didn't say go as in go to airport or go to go abroad, you know. But if God, anything what God wants to, anything God wants to use me for, wherever, let Him use me. Ah, calm down. Okay, now that we know each other, let's start very briefly because we don't have all the time in the world except the time for these slides, and after what we do other things, other speaking engagements today. All right, slides two, gigs on scene and side hustle. Bros, two, uh, bros, be in the spirit with me so that I know they get the call slides. So you go to mess up recordings. You understand? Just you know, keep it smooth, you understand? If you go buy them for net, Netflix, we buy them for Global Harvest, and now you don't know. Things they happen, no? There are just four ways to get money that I know of. And the very first one, you can work for it, which is the commonsensical thing to do. Work for your money. You've heard that phrase before. You can take up a job, become an entrepreneur, apply, you know, whatever, work. The second way to get money you can inherit it. Maybe your great-grandfather was a big man. He had cocoa farms. He had cola nut farms. You can inherit money, and then if something happened, you know, passes. I mean, that's a bit... Um, this is not to the common, but yeah, it's a way to make, get money or get rich. The third way to get money, you can get it as a gift, all right? Somebody, if you just look you now, see the commodity place, say, wow, I see the glory of God in you. Give him that range of a key. Who shouted, Ooh, just now? You get one pitch when I hear Now, this area I come from. I hope it's not the guy master control. Now, you with the. Okay, no, be you talk, say, be politician. You see the shout, oh, for Range Rover, we no be your own. Now, wow. Things are happening. Okay, see, auntie sitting next to you. Okay. But before you receive it, why be saying now only key of Range Rover people they receive? Nobody they receive key of maybe Corolla, 1999. Now, okay, that one no get key. Now kill us. You say, ah, but we want to receive Range Rover. It's good. There's nothing bad in it. But which one have you given? And I did the problem. They, to collect Range Rover, you know they had. It's to, it's to, somebody will go collect Range Rover. You go down dash on like plasma TV, iPhone 13. You go down dash those kind of things. Guys. It's more better to give than to 
It's not me that said it. It's the Bible. Don't argue with me. And the last way to make money, which I don't recommend, you can steal it. Politician. Where are those politicians? Sorry. Uh, like I was saying. <laughs> of course, this is not encouraged by any means. But it's one way people make money. It doesn't last. It's corrupt. It's wrong. It's sinful. It's going to get you in trouble. Now, there are three ways or three things that can give you money. The first thing is your skills. Your skills can give you money. If you're very ta good, um, bros, give me one skill. What does skill mean to you? Just so that we are carrying each other along. along. Skill. Any skill? Anybody? Skill. Eh? Writing is, is a skill, yeah. You can have football skills too now. Some people have speaking skills. Like that bros, we do voiceover now. You know, that those kind of people say they will give movie in the world. You don't start Superman. And so that they tell all these Marvel moves, eh? Two men walking down the road. An alien drums from the car. What will he do? You know? Now, see skill now. Speaking, gift of the gab, oratory skills, writing skills, football skills, swimming skills, whatever kind of skill you have. Cooking skills. Now, still skill. That can get you money if you know how to use it properly. The second thing that can get you money is your talent. Now, you begin to wonder, skills and talent, what's the, you know, there's a whole lot to that. Let's not go into it. Sometimes it's a talent or a gift. You can't really say how you got it. You can't transfer it. One thing with skills, you can easily acquire it. It doesn't involve any spirituality or anything, but it's just learn it. For example, coding skills, you can write coding. I recently picked up Python. You know, there's SQL, there's HTML. You know, so many just Java. You can pick up that skill. If you are a skillful Java writer, you can write codes in Java. Jobs day, you know, you can make that into something that gets you an income. If you can vi do edit videos, you know, that's a skill. Talent is just like skill, but you do it more effortlessly, such that if all these people that have skill spend one hour doing their own, you probably spend like one minute and you get the same result they got or more than them. So talent can also easily find you. For example, music. There's some people, if you condense music into liquid form, you put it inside drum, and you drop them in the drum, and then you pass the drip into them. If you say, say after me, la, they say, le, nothing, nothing, enough you work, nothing. Other people, if they open it now, it's sweetening you. It is well. God will forgive you. Some people. Once beat drops only place I want sheep. Ba 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 any part of their body moves. Their neck, their shoulder, their feet, and their own beats. Even if they are sleeping, it's a talent. You can't learn it. Okay, you two, look at all the dance steps you've seen on TV that you try to learn. Now God saved you the last time. You only learned up in Bobby. And you see it. You see what I'm Only God saved you. That, eh? That on a talent. Singing too is a talent. You can't really learn it per se. You can go to a music school. You can go to a dance school. <sighs> Well, you get at the beach, you understand what I'm saying? Just like football, too, there's a skill part of it. You can go to football like an enemy. But you know what I mean? Say, if you jam Ronaldo, he will show you Pepe. Or Messi, oh, the goat. He will give you a problem. You understand? So that's that. The next thing that can bring you money is information. This is the most basic part of earning an income. Information. You don't even need to stress yourself. You don't need to be talented or gifted or skillful. Information. What do I mean? Check this out. Information abounds every day. You, you run into information, information runs into you. So, for example, information is what you got in school, from primary school up to your tertiary institution. Information is what they gave you, and a bit of maybe hands-on practice. You got information, all right, on how to do certain things. You knew that you could use certain tools to fix certain parts of electrical circuits. You got the information from your lecturers and from books, and today we call you engineer. You got information about fixing the combustion, the um, oil intake, the exhaust of a car engine. 
and you became an engineer, you became an automobile engineer. Information, now information where you get to, nobody say talent today. Now become, you can become talented on top of that, but it was information that got you that certificate in your hand. Let me give you another very basic information that some of you utilized and converted to money while others did not. Some people told you about this time last year that, not lose God though, this dollar where they see so, it goes soon reach 1,000. That time dollar was around 470. Instead of you to carry your 100K and buy dollar keep, you carried it to bank. It's the bank people have gone, Abby. You carried it to bank, you gave it to them. Now dollar is in the region of 580, 600. I bought it 580 last month. Six what? It is where you go talk to them. See, forget. No feel. Thank God, me and Okuku they do anything in dollars. Who told you that medication? Ordinary medication they are buying. If they make the medication in Nigeria, the equipment they used to manufacture it is not from Nigeria. Memory card as small as it's small for your phone. That memory card where they buy? Where did they make it? No, be China. How did they bring it to China? You think it's an Igbe that they used to fly them? They imported it. You will pay. You will pay. It's affecting everybody. So imagine you are that hundred k in your account. When you heard that, Omo, this dollar, you had information from a banker friend that Baba, see this hundred, this four seventy. <laughs> Go and gather up. Oh. <laughs> this thing, the factors that make the currency of a country stable against other foreign currencies, those factors are not on, in our favor in Nigeria. Namely, produce and sell more than you import. Common economic sense. It's deeper than that, but that's a simplistic approach. Let's not go into that. This is not uh, Economics 501. But that information came your way. You did nothing with it. Some people that did something with it. Imagine somebody had 500K. No, no. Some, imagine somebody had um, 300K in his bank account when dollar was one, one to 300. You don't buy $1,000 keep. Say, I'm not cuckoo using this 300K for anything. If I'm not careful now, nah, no matter flex, we take the money away. That's when my wife you say, there's one phone case she wants to buy. From ca phone case, it go turn to phone, you know. From phone, it go turn to change the phone, you know. Something like that. Or you just see one nice shoe, huh? And this color match. God bless our, our women and our mothers. This color match my bag, the other bag. I just saw. The, I've been looking for that particular color. That's when she never remember that the gala she bought last week is different from the one that can match the bag. Gone, 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 gone. The hue, the contrast, and the saturation of the gala. That's when you've been hearing all manner of adjectives with color that you've never had before. Tantalizing purple. Effeminate gray. Scintillating blue. Now, I know it did now. So, you didn't do anything with that information. And here we are today. Dollar is six-ish. So, that's information. So, now we understand. Let me recap. Four things, four ways of getting money. Making money is not rocket science. I'm, I can tell you that for free. I wish I had more time. I would go into some more deeper things. I like to speak from my personal experience. I will tell you the time when I go to Dubai and I got internship. They don't know me. I don't know them. I just entered a plane and I landed in Dubai. I just walked through the door. I said, I need internship. The way you're looking at me was how they were looking at me. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Ah, but trust me now. Nobody today. By the time I started, some one-on-one, -on -one, tete a tete you know, things. She got on the phone with her Dubai boss. Hello, Mr. Shukram, where are you from? What did you study? No, in the Ibsen and the Hebrew club. I just said, you know what I'm saying? And the answer, I'm, I just the package. Long story short, I just said, you can start tomorrow. Now, make on the answer and say, ma. <laughs> she said, you can start tomorrow. Dubai, but let's leave that story for another time. I don't know when next I will come here, but let's leave that story. So, see information. Now, we they talk. So, recap. Like I said, I like to use my personal stories because I think I relate more than what I read in books. Four ways to make money. So making money is not the problem. No, you can make money very easily. One, one you can work for it, you can inherit it, you can, it can be a gift, and you can steal it. Those three, you're not sure. It's not in your control. The one that's in your control is the number one. And four ways things that you have, probably with you already, that can get you money. One, uh, three things rather that you have that can get you money is your skill, your talent, or the information. Out of all of them, there's a skill you have. Look well, look into your hands well. There's a skill you have. Even if now chin-chin, you start be fry. Remember when you were in secondary school? You get as you to do your own chin-chin. Boys, men in the house, say hey, hey. That beans, we'll be chopped, we'll never, we'll nearly die for school. 
I'm not joking. No. I cook beans. So they, when I was doing my master's degree in UI, the professor, one professor, okay, they did a presentation on, on leguminous sources of feeding animals. That was a seminar. Fancy for animal for you know, animal science. Né? So one professor just said, yeah, talking of legumes and beans, I remember any time I eat beans, I have stomach upset. Can anybody explain to me any scientific reason why I always have stomach upset and gases when I eat beans? No matter what I do, I wear gases. Nobody. Any lecturer? Any of our lecturers? Junior or senior lecturer? Nobody answer. Any students? Maybe final year, PhD student? Nobody answer. I said, this is my moment. <laughs> we don't, we chop beans, die for school. I go, now, uh, Ogun State University, now, Labas and Abanjo. Uh, I knew all the anatomy, physiology, and genetics of beans. There was no favor of beans in existence that I didn't cook. No, beans with oil, beans with oil and pepper, beans with pepper alone, beans with oil, pepper, and onions, beans with oil, pepper, onions, and salt, beans without salt, but pepper, beans without pepper, but salt, beans with, come on, man, I mean, beans, pro. if PhD fold up for beans, therefore don't give me honorary beans. No, no, no. We cook beans. I explained to the professor a scientific method why the beans he was eating was coming sto causing stomach upset. Needless to say, by the time I was done, everybody was looking at two weeks that they called me professor of beans. <laughs> Why? They used to give us very low voltage in school that time. We used to call it half current. Hot plate, you plug it like this, you can sit on it with your bare bum bum. Nothing, nothing will do you. The heat was useless. And boys were hungry. You know something? You know they say that out of frustration or suffering, innovation comes. Not true. <laughs> Not true. That's why when somebody say, pass through your suffering. <laughs> Taking the good faith. Um, they, they, they get point to not every time you are going through challenges in your room, you carry to where you put leg inside water, aboniki. Hey, 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 hey. Now open your eye. There's something around that place that can teach you lesson. I'm not maybe not every time, but yeah, you know, turn it around. I said, What kind of suffering is this? We cook beans. Guess what we did? We we'll put beans on fire at 6 p.m. in the night. We'll block it around 8 p.m. the next morning. Ah, this thing done. Who said ah? That be boys, talk to me now. You guys didn't do it. Wait, am I talking to people that went to private university? Ah, uh, but uh, back me up here. Gentlemen, uh -uh. they don't know. The sister don't know. They don't know what's going on. It shocked them. We'll block the beans 8 o'clock the next morning. You don't, don't die. There are two components of beans. The outer testa or the coat, contains the protein. The inner cotyledon or the endosperm contains the carbohydrates. When the carbohydrate or raw starch is well cooked and heat penetrates on low heat, long time, the carbohydrate is well cooked such that the carbohydrate turns to sugar. When the sugar now mixes with the cooked protein on the outside, you have well done beans. That doesn't call flatulence or gases in your stomach because the raw starch gets fermented in your stomach. If you eat it, if you rush beans and you cook it very quickly, that starch doesn't get done because you have high heat and short time. The cotyledon doesn't get cooked because it contains the child. When you eat it like that, the starch ferments and you have gas, brew, brew, and you will poop, poop, poop all over the place. And if you are not careful, you have stomach upset. <laughs> Thank you. They no teach me for university. Oh. Now suffering, I teach me. Because I was wondering, why be say with it, these beans next morning, it is sweet. Okay, let me give you a practical example. When you people eat a wagon from outside, you think they cook a wagon inside hot plate in the kitchen. You think it's eatery food. Sorry, ma'am. You know, eatery food is good. <laughs> Those mama, adogon, they don't put adogon for fire, carry firewood. They fire them from evening. Next morning, they block it, they sell it to you. They, put jazz, they didn't put jazz, they put common sense. Yeah, what you don't know, information, you don't know. Somebody has that information, turned it to money. He said, that mama beans, they always, there's a way they fry the pepper on the wagon. Let's leave that for another seminar. Next slide, before I waste all the time in the world. I like to talk, obviously, you can see now. Types of gigs. I think there are about two or three types. There are, there's a creative gigs. Uh, pause there for a second. I don't think I will have time to probably go over and come back. Let me just break it down. Creative gigs. Uh, this one where you have, yeah, you do creative stuff. Content creation, video editing. Uh, all manner of such. That's the type of you, you create stuff. The second type of uh, gig, you have the second type of you have production gigs, and it, let's just rush it together. Production gigs, and you have service gigs. Production gigs, where you actually put elements of production together or factors of production. Your factors of production, depending on what you want to produce, they plenty. For example, you want to make uh, jollof rice. You know the ingredients are going to it. So. Whatever production you want to do, there are factors and elements that make it up. So that creative gig, production gig, is what I just explained. The service gigs, you render a service. It's also a gig. Some services don't need you to be physically there. 
Some services don't need all your, all your time. You can do it on the side. We're talking about side hustle now, that no matter who you are, student, entrepreneur, or civil servant, or you work at 9 to 5, you can always pick one of these thing, uh, things up, depending on the previous points we mentioned. Don't forget, three things that can bring you money, your skills, your talent, and what? Information. So your skills doesn't necessarily to be able to be physical. It can be remote. Your talent, you can use it remotely. Information can also work remotely. And that's why you have a lot of people doing online work. Online. During that lockdown, or more, you know, funny for a lot of businesses, so things happened in the negative. And some things happened in the positive for a lot of people and companies. That was when Netflix shares went up. Bow! Netflix overtook Disney. Bam! Of course, Disney. You go to Disneyland physically to enjoy the rides and the food and the experience. Netflix is just online. You log in, subscribe for, to watch movies. But all of a sudden, nobody could go out anymore. So Disney was at a disadvantage. Netflix was at an advantage. Because they had been strategically positioned, again, which one of the things you should pay att attention to as an entrepreneur. Sometimes what you are doing might not look famous now. By some strange stroke of mysterious divine arrangement, just like it happened to Joseph, circumstances will just change in your favor. I pray somebody here, circumstances will change to favor your business in Jesus' name. So, so that's why you need to be prayerful, of course. We're Christians, I believe, if not, most of us, if not yet, believe in Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior and have a personal relationship with him. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Shameless plug for my Lord and Savior. As we were saying, so when, when circumstances turn around like that, if your pre-existing business is, at, is favored, boom, it takes off. Like I was saying, Netflix, everybody was sitting at home, nothing to do. You also keep busy. Toys, games, they sold. They became multi-billion dollar companies and, you know, parastatas. It was crazy. People were home. They needed to play games with their family. They were ordering games online. People were tired. They needed to watch something. Movies were getting, you know, uh, subscribed. Netflix went, bam, skyrocketed, you know. And, of course, some businesses were affected. Businesses that need to physically interact with human beings. So that's about service gigs. Service gigs also, let's break it down. So let's talk about creative gigs. Creative gigs. You can... Create videos. Now, I'm not going to tell you everything there is to know about all these gigs, but you can create videos, simple videos from educational videos. Because as I talk video now, everybody don't they put on their comedy act. No, there's more to videos than comedy. You don't need to be funny. If you are funny, yeah, good for you. If you pitch to the right audience. Um, but if you know a lot of stuff, you can put it in videos. And I'm not saying fancy videos, you need light cameras, actions. Do you know as simply as putting that your phone, as long as your phone can record a decent HD video, it's good enough. All you need to learn is how to maximize the video of your phone. And when I say maximize, I'm not talking of you need to download a special app. No, that same video, that same camera on your phone. Just stand in front of a source of light. Let the source of light be facing you. Either a lamp, a lantern, a candle, or your window. Put the phone there. Ah, you know, put your phone there so that you don't create a silhouette. If you are standing in front of your phone, and the source of light is behind you, because of the way the sensor of the, camera, or the phone camera is designed, it's going to struggle to decide which one should I show, the very bright source of light behind you or your face. That is why if you look behind right now, can you all look behind? If you are sitting in front, look behind. Look at that little girl, that little girl that just walked through the door, or the um, people standing close to the door. You see that if you are not careful, especially if you are standing where I'm standing now, there's so much light in my face, all you see is a silhouette. That's why when somebody's coming from outside and you're in the house and they stand at the door, what do you see? Just the shape of them. It looks black. That's the same thing happening with your camera phone. So make sure you are not facing the source of light. Your phone is not facing this, uh, the source of light. It is backing it. So that anything you want to record, when you want to make your video, you face the light and your phone faces you. The picture will be sweet, sweeter than before. If your phone has autofocus lock, you can read the manners of your phone. You can press it to lock the focus so that every time you move, back and forth. The phone is not trying to look for you. It makes it very uncomfortable for them. Just literally two tips. I just gave you two. There are so many more. You can just simple recording. Make sure everywhere is quiet. Close your windows and doors. Make sure you record when nobody is around. You can do your educational videos on, for example, Python coding. Here you are, a Python coder. Jobs are not coming. You can make a video tutorial about Python coding. That's some video content. You can do a video about making moi moi with leaves. Some people don't know the technique in wrapping. I cook a lot, by the way, so once in a while you hear me talk about food. And I love cooking, and I love eating too. Do you know the show for my body? I don't know what's going to happen. So you can make a video tutorial about wrapping moin moin in a way. That one, I never see them for you. Suppose they YouTube, because nothing we know they that YouTube. Nothing. I have to take over somebody's country. You go there, there. <laughs> don't go and do it too, before they start looking for you. 
But there's nothing that you're looking for on YouTube that you can't find. By the way, in case you're looking for tutorials on picking up a skill, you can always go to, there's so many platforms. YouTube is one of the most popular ones. So, yes, you can do videos simply that I just learn how to make the best of it. You don't need all the fancy cameras and recording gear. It's not necessary. I'll tell you why later. Audio Creative Geek also is very much available. Uh, like the, I thought I was going to refer to the voice, but that was fantastic. You can do, you can do audio books. Nobody send you. Just do audio book, one paragraph. Some, an author. You have a very fine voice. Chapter one. Do you, make your, I, I see as it sound like movie trailer. Who is this voice owner? And I'm speaking from experience. So a friend of mine, uh, many years back, roughly over nine, eight years, thereabout, he said, ah, come, let's do a TV commercial for a certain hotel in Lagos. I said, ah, I was a videographer, you know, an editor, a video editor. Some of the skills I have. And I said, okay, cool, let me do it. I directed the video, you know, record, he edited it. Then he said, ah, you know, boss, just come do voiceover now. I'll just give you one, one or two lines. I did the voiceover. I still remember the lines like the, that was yesterday, you know. Down here, there's no traffic, golden tulip. And then they, they, it, was, it was a voice, it was a commercial for Golden Tulip Hotel. And that was the first line, you know. So I shot a, a model swimming underwater. I went inside the pool and recorded her swimming across me. Then he wrote a line to say, and down here, there's no traffic, Golden Tulip, Golden Tulip, uh, something, something. I can't remember the last line now. I just took my microphone and did that. Down here, there's no traffic. You know? And I did some voice mix. And I put it and said, guys, it's nice. I like it. So a couple of years later, I called me and said, Baba, it don't sell. I said, everything happened. You see, some people sent me an email and said, that advert, they saw it on Vimeo. Vimeo is like the more professional, more advanced YouTube for video creators. I don't encourage you to go there except you are a director for film or you are a motion graphics designer. You know, pretty data sensitive. So they said they saw it on video and they asked him, whose voice is that? We need that guy's voice. And he sent me a mail. I said, they really? Yeah, they want me to voice something. Guess where the company was from? South Africa. I will never forget them. Blink Tower Studios in Cape Town, South Africa. And they had a gig for me. Needless to say, that was my, one of my most profitable gigs. I think I made well over $2,000 for that gig. $2,000 just to talk. This same voice, where are they talk now? Where nobody spray me money? What <laughs> I I talk? Down here. That's, and they, they give me a script. For their mind, they say, so, you know, we just record it, you can audio stamp it so that we can't steal it, then when we hear it and we like it, you can pay. I say, leave story, I will send the whole thing for you. <laughs> they say, you know, send us your invoice. I say, forget it, so let me record and send to you first. They were looking at me, what kind of professional is this? I went and recorded, I had a home studio. I had, you know, I had microphones because I, had pr I did production. So I carried my microphone. Of course, from the, over the years, you know how to cut corners, being an independent person. It's always, sometimes almost better to record in your car. If you have a nice car, close all the doors, put on the AC for five minutes, let everything be chilled, then switch off the AC and do your voiceover. The quality you will get. Bros, I don't know where that person, they hear my voice. If you try that, instead of going to studio to pay 30 or 50K, I know studio owners will not like me, but it is what it is. You know, we are trying to hustle and save costs here. That's what I did. I recorded that voiceover inside Moto, and I signed a permanent release license for two countries, Nigeria and Ghana. I recorded a voiceover for an Ebola campaign. Ebola. You guys probably would have heard it and you didn't know it was my voice, but wait it concern me, I don't pocket my 2K. <laughs> Audio side geek. They didn't, yeah, I didn't travel, I didn't collect visa, now my voice travel. Anywhere where my voice travel go, make sure I give me my, my own cut. My voice traveled to Cape Town, South Africa, and from there went to Ghana, Nigeria, and I collect my cuts. You not pass like that. Sometimes it's a jingle. I had to pay a lady to sing a song, or was it a guy, to sing a song for a, a gig. Fantastic voice. Da, da, da. I still remember her voice deep in my head. Very sonorous voice. She collected money. She's a nurse. You're there. You're in the choir. People fall under the anointing anytime you worship. Let money fall under your anointing too. <laughs> except the Holy Spirit expressly told you that thou shalt not sing anything outside of the... Except that, which I respect and I totally understand. You know, but other than that, there are so many ways. I've told you, audio book is there. Voiceover for movies is there. Call, see, you know another thing we don't know? I used to do wedding photography. I know. When I say I also, the first wedding photography I did, how, many, how much more time do I have, please? And I can talk for a whole deal. You better stop me. I mean, this is 1035. When should I stop? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> 10 minutes left. Let's move. Let's leave story. Another time. Google it. You might not find it all bad, but just Google it. <laughs> so writing is another side gig. You can write. Somebody say, what can I write? You know, notice I never look book, all this thing where they talk. I never check phone. I never check notes. I don't carry paper. 
Because I don't believe in preparing those things to come. Apart from these bullet points, just to make it fine. Because now yesterday they tell me, say, I get presentation. Bros, no vest. Now yesterday they tell me, I can't say, presentation. I know they use presentation. I just, because I, pra- I don't preach what I practice. I do the opposite. I only, no, no, I don't practice what I preach. That's what I wanted to say. I only tell you what I've done. That's all I know. That's what is sure that I know. Any other theory, Omar, God be with you. Now, the one when I don't do. All these things, I've done them. Writing. Some people are good. They can write proposals. Some people are good. They can talk. If some people are good, they can talk. They can learn things, upload it, understand it. They have a gift, talent. It's a gift. It's a talent, however you want to call it. Put them on your team for a presentation. You, you can't string two sentences together to convince. Even auntie, before she grew for you, Holy Ghost had to minister to her. You know talking is not a strong point. Carry somebody who has the gift of the gab on your team. Baba, how much I will give you? I will give you 40K. You follow us to this presentation. In my team, this is what you are. You are the, I don't know, give him one title. Nice suit, nice shirt. Yes, sir. So what do you have here we're about to do? Now you go become consultant for your company that day. You don't say he's the chief executive. Now you go, in fact, you go even add more flavor to you. You understand? Package this thing. You know too hard. You know you can't talk. You went to go and talk and messed up opportunity. Why? Then we, then, sorry, sorry, then we, after the third story, all the investors have logged, have logged out. They are looking for the next person. Once they start looking at their phone and checking the back of your, their phone and looking for what to browse on Twitter and see who is trending and who they have given breakfast in presidential primary. Anyway, writing, you can write proposal, you can write speech, you can write budget. Some people are terrible, they can't put to, I'm telling you what people have said to me. Alaye do budget for film production. You are shaking like leaf that is going through a matan period. I don't understand. Carry, call somebody now. You, here you are. Now you do the budget for your friend. When in the under level, 200 level, you did it for your lecturer. The proposal, where they use, collect grants for your department. Now you still write down. And you are there. You are crying, God, why me? Oh, why me? Why not you? All the things they gave you, did you use it? Meanwhile, you're the, you're the target also for Japa. This one, where we say, Ja in, you never do them. You want to go Japa. Ja from here. Design. Creative gig. Graphics design. Buildings design. You can know, learn how to use AutoCAD, uh, 3D Studio Max, um, uh, Blender, a whole lot of stuff. You can learn those softwares. Design, fashion design is still part of creative design. Some people, eh, the kind of clothes pattern that is in their head, or more, second world war, they cannot carry it. As a strong reach, you know, if you carry them. You just see people and you just know men. Ah, this lady should have just used flat skirt instead of this. Man, if only she just put some. Ah, man. Write it down. Design it. Or Benny, if you cannot, call a friend who knows how to draw. Can you put this pattern down for me? You are just wasting. Some of you dream at, you sleep at night after eating beans and plantain. Yeah. <laughs> just sleep like a log of wood. But everyone is so nice to you. As you sleep, mouth open. They feel your mouth. They feel your head. You open, you, you dream like this. You are hearing songs. Yeah, you are crying. You wake up next morning and say, oh my God, he just was singing. You were worthy. They were not saying, it was the song I heard. Ogbeni, score it. Go and learn it, talk to Tony Sofa. Score that song. That might be your next breakthrough. You don't need to sing if your voice is not good. You can sell the song. Oh, you think all the songs you, that are trended. You think Franklin was the one that wrote all his songs. All the secular singers, you know, you think they write all their songs. Some people even go straight for them. Some, all the most popular songs you've ever heard in the secular, they were go straight in by people who cannot hold microphone for their life. You don't need to hold microphone. You will never hear their name, but go to the apartment in, in, in California. You will know that they hold, they hold back. Here you are. You're just dreaming after plantain and brain, San Kono. You're just dreaming opportunities away. <laughs> dreaming opportunities away. God will help us. So, design, yapa, plenty, anything. I've said interior design. I've said graphics design. I've said... Uh, what other design? Let me, let me look book. I don't, uh, fashion design. I think that's pretty much all I even wrote down, Seth. Uh, what other kind of design did I, wrote down, did I write down? Yeah, website, websites. It's the part of, you know, you can design. Eh, ma? Yeah, you can, a whole bunch of stuff. Just learn. Get the information. Impute it. If the talent is there, it will spark. And let me, by the way, let me tell you, how do you know something you're probably gifted in? Something that's always annoying you. Don't, that's why, let's calm down. You're always complaining about this thing. What's your own self? Slow down. You may have an idea of calling in that thing. You are the one always noticing people's shoes. Ah, see the shoe that lady wore. She didn't even fit her. She should have, should have worn. And true to when you say it, not on a hating level. When you say it true to, it makes sense. I ah, mean, look at that man. Gray beard, bald head. You should have just worn like black shirts and white pants. White, white. Ah, 
he pursue. Um, and the truth will make sense. Going to styling people, style your cousin first. Let me connect people back to what I started from. The first gig I did for wedding photography officially was in Ibadan. My friend from Western College of Science was getting married. I saw it on Facebook. I had cameras. In particular, this particular lens was with me then. I said, Baba, let me shoot your wedding. He said, Baba, we don't already get photographer. I don't get money. I said, calm down. I'm not collecting money. I was building profile. I came to his wedding. I was snapping. I'm on desk, too many. Ah! As I lie down, I hang for pole. And I crush down. Later, later, I bring that long lens. Even the photographer, he drop in your hand. When they see lens, he say, ah. Later, I come and book myself. As, they see, as the wife saw the lens, the wife don't know me before, he say, photographer, please come and snap me and my husband. <laughs> Official photographer, did you? I say, well, I don't start while today. Later, the guy came and me and said, Ross, I see you. I say, no, I'm just his friend. <laughs> don't, go and, don't go and call boys from you. I'm just his friend, though. I'm not. Then some friends saw my work in Lagos. I say, Baba, this thing tight now. Go and be doing photographer for wedding. I say, me. Pride will not block us. I say, you owe me. Because the photographer I knew in my head was the one that you snap picture, then you beg people to give you 100 naira for the copy of the picture. I said, no, I can't do that. They said, no, now. Why are you this? Ah, no, why are you Badon boy? By the way, I was born and bred in Badon, so you know why I'm referring to Badon. <laughs> you know, today when I go to Lagos, so like 12 years ago or thereabouts. Yeah, and I still come to Badon every, every now and then. So, um, I mean, they saw my work. They said, this is fantastic. You should be charging for this. I said, I can't do it. They said, all the unit lists is Photoshop. Just, you know, girls like to look pretty. Just snap them nicely. And you already, you, you know the angles to snap. Just blend their face, remove their pimples. I said, pimples, that one over hard now. I had to go to YouTube and learn Photoshop for beauty retouch. It took me a couple of weeks, but I learned it. The first job I did was 150K. No story. I collect the money, I chop them. Buy equipment, save some, and continue the journey. The next job, I think it was 170K. Of course, because the quality was good. Again, information plus the talent. Sometimes some of these things need each other to really get to fruition. Let's move quickly. The next one. Production gigs, agripreneurship, art, art and craft, food business. <laughs> agripreneurship, thank God the IIT people have come. I'm very passionate about agriculture. I'm a farmer. I still call myself a farmer. You can do anything. I once sold honey. So, quick story. I have two minutes left. I was in Kogi State finishing up my NYC. We had a, an apiary on the farm, as in we were producing honey. I ate pure honey for about 14 months when I was, I stayed a bit back during my NYC because I loved it on the farm. The honey was fantastic, so I knew the smell and the taste of real honey. Unlike the one where they sell for you for road, now sugar cane syrup, you need to be very careful. That thing is dangerous, it can hurt you. If you are not supposed, if you are diabetic, stay away from stuff like that. Ah, God bless you. God will increase you, sir. Let me put my hands together for the organizers. They just dashed us eight more, minutes, eight more minutes because the two that was there before, because I did watch. I guess they observe. No, now nah, you can't live in Lagos now, nah, no observe. But get what? How many people of you live in Lagos? You don't, thank God. You live in Lagos and you came down here. You still live in Lagos. Okay, you go and come. For, don't let them confuse you. Say, ah, you cool. Nothing there. You guys are probably sharper than people that were born there or burning it free. They say, Lagos, you cool, Blackberry. First day when I land like this from school, one guy said, bring your phone, let me hold it for you. I say, you and who? <laughs> oh, Carlo Laboko, you don't bear it. I must follow up, okay, say, okay, bola. They go collect phone from my hand. You know they look face. If you know they look face, you know they look eyeball. <laughs> hey, me, for where now? If I don't bother, I go on lost for Lagos. No, now we they run things. Now we they run this down. <laughs> That confidence and you know, came from the fact that you know, I had done my own work. Oh. Don't go and just do anyhow. Don't do anyhow. You see anyhow. <laughs> do your own work. Oh. So agripreneurship is something I was passionate about. Then I was on the farm. Then I noticed the honey was pure. Ah, and my parents had been eating trash honey back home. I'm like, I took the honey. 25. So my father said, when you are coming to your next visit, please bring small honey for me. So I brought 15 liters. As soon as we got to challenge from Kogi State, Osara, in Kogi, as soon as we got to challenge like this, the bus that was, the taxi that was bringing me from, I think it was Iwo Road. The bus, the, the, the cab would drop, bring you from Okene down to Iwo Road, then from Iwo Road to Challenge, then Challenge, I would find my way level. The moment the guy, the driver carried my jerry can and put it in the, in the taxi, bah, like, you know the way jerry can wait on the inside sun from Kogi, hot afternoon sun. You know, you don't, you don't vex. You know, say all the material, don't vex. Even the only don't vex more. But you know, say all the only, get, you get good nature. You know, to they provoke. But the container don't vex. As they put the container down like this, bah, the gas just come out. I just hear everybody in the bus say, Oh, you need. They recognize one time. Oh, more. The driver begged me till I got to the front of my house. Make I just give him one small ragulis. See, Baba, even if not just one small cup, 
I say, I never, no, be, I won't say, I know, I, you see, please, he was begging me. They knew the value of real honey. You will know the difference between real and fake honey now. If you can get that connect, if you can get, can get that plug, you are in business. I did it for a while. I ran out of supply. I couldn't meet up. I left the business for a different reason. But it was good while it lasted. I went to Gumpa, bought empty containers. I selected very nice plastic containers like this. I went to Mokola, printed stickers, nice ones. I packaged it. I even put Ruby on top. And the first thing I did, marketing 101. If you don't have the integrity to sell, you're in trouble. That's why it's good to be good. Be a good person, a honest person. I saw with my dad. So people that were close to me, my friends from secondary school, you know, my friends from university, people that came to our fellowship in our house, they were the first person I dashed it. And so I knew out of this jerry can, maybe like two bottles is for promo, the rest is for sale. So I took two bottles, put it in those small, small containers, made it look nice. And when they come to our house, my mommy, I have honey for you. I'm selling honey now. This is a sample, take it. As soon as they get home, eh, my dear, daddy wanted to buy four and four containers. Every one of them ordered more than I could supply. I, I sent for more. I sent, that's how I became honey merchant. Why? I saw a need in the environment. People are not eating real honey. They think it's real. It's sugar cane syrup. You know how they make sugar cane syrup? Woo! So they carry sugar, dissolve it in water, stir it on fire, and keep stirring until the sugar caramelizes and turns to bran. And when it caramelizes, turns to bran and becomes sticky, they pour it in container and they call it honey for you. Very dangerous. So that is agripreneurship. You can go into um, mushroom production. It's another very soft one. Snake production is also there for you. I know somebody in my agricultural network, a young lady, she goes into mushroom production. Every month she produces, she has a demand of 100 kilograms of fresh mushrooms. In this same Nigeria, she li the farm is on the way to Lagos. 100 kilograms of fresh mushrooms. I've never had it before in my life. No, I can understand some other kind of business that people demand for, and food, mushrooms. How? And you're selling? She said yes. And you're selling? She said yes. Wow. She said she actually produces about 70 kilos on her farm. And guess what the farm is? She doesn't need to cultivate. She doesn't need tractor. She doesn't need hoe and cutlass. Now inside one shed, she puts the substrate, then inoculates it with mushroom. For, mushroom is a fungi. Inoculates it, and the mushroom grows. Put nylon for heat and moisture. The mushroom grows. She packages it nightly into, into she has dry mushroom. She has wet one. She sells fresh. But the demand per month for her mushroom in a small business is 100 kilograms every month. She can't meet up. She, what she does she do? She goes to her source, the other 30, add it to her one, and she sells. And now she's looking for investors. The last agripreneurship Twitter space I held a few weeks back, I told people to make pitches. Make a pitch for your farm. What do you need? She was one of them. Two weeks later, somebody called me from Canada and said, I want to invest in that girl's business. She didn't even have to struggle. She was looking for 10 million. These people were probably willing to put 20 or 30 million naira. And somebody is in one corner of the house saying, Uluwashi, Uluwashi, open the door. Open, who closed the door? <laughs> you know, it's all good to pray. But again, watch and some of these things, it's good we tell ourselves in the body of Christ. And I love, that's why I love this kind of things. We don't say enough of it. And some people actually are doing it, so we can you know, learn from them. At, uh, have I exhausted what I want to say in agriculture? So one another woman on this same platform I'm talking about, she said, actually, every month I output, meaning she sells out of Nigeria, 100 kilograms of fresh snails to the U.S. and Canada. I thought it was a fluke. I said, they don't come. I was come Madam, tell us how you do it. She goes to Ondo State, Ocean State, to buy the raw snails from the field. She brings it to the airport in Lagos. The company that does logistics already know how they do it. She said there are two types. The one that I pay for shipping, the one that I don't pay. She said I, I do the second type. I don't pay for shipping. The customer already paid. These people, they ship out of Nigeria. So they all know the, they know the, because I said, what are the requirements, international standard for the US and Canada? He said, number one, because US and Canada, nobody they are president, they eat the snail. They are less strict on the rules and regulation. Although they know you can bring disease, but na, na, or na, Africans, they chop the snail. So na better do and well. So they're not that, but they meet the requirement. Wash, frozen, whatever they do, that the company handles this in Lagos. It just collects her transfer from the customer, and she starts putting 100. Do you know what 100 kilograms of snail is? Do you know how much they sell one snail? Multiply it by 100 kilograms. This story for another day. Have I exhausted agribusiness? There's a whole lot you can do into produce buying, like Bode said. You don't need to have a farm or have a feed or fish pond. Fish pond is another very good one, but I will tell you, you need to be very careful when you're going to agriculture. Be very careful. Go into agriculture, that you know about. You're either a graduate of agriculture, or your father had a farm and you grew in the business, or your uncle, or your friend, or your family, but whatever you do, learn in turn. Give yourself time to go and understudy, and then start small. Art and craft, bead, shoemaking, jewelry, bracelets, bangles for women, makeup. Fella Dote, yeah, I'm sorry, Tara Dote, yeah. she started makeup line. Like, small, I play like play. She wears she is. She wears she is. 
uh, art and crafts is limitless. T-shirts, you can just come up with one design on a T-shirt and it will go viral and everybody wants that T-shirt. They're not buying the value of the fabric, they're buying the value of the creativity you put on the shirt. Things the upper, you know, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Food business, my favorite. I love food and I love the art of cooking. Two minutes left, so don't worry, I won't disappoint. Two minutes left, so food business is pretty straightforward. Some of you, like I said, bros, skill today your head. Don't say because you are a man, how would they think of me? Or go anywhere that they prone, y'all. What do they think of you, Bahu? What are they thinking of me when I cook? Um, I cook fire and I'm proud of it. When I turn Amalabai, the devil trembles. <laughs> oh, forget it. No, there's an art to this thing now. Some people cannot make ogi. See video on Instagram and, and, and YouTube. Failed ogi experiment. You think it's easy to make ogi? If you, if you easy, try them now. Carry ogi. You know the ogi that we hear you that will disgrace you the most? That ogi that has been inside fridge. Oh! It can disgrace. You know why? So there's a science to making ogi, all right? Should I go on with the science? No, let me. No. <laughs> and until like gist, we're not gonna finish you. So there's a science to making ogi. The aim is to convert the starch to to sugar. Now there's a there's a threshold of the temperature, all right? That starch in in corn converts to the sugar or glucose, if you wish. If you don't hit that threshold, it will not work. Because the starch needs to be denatured by heat. The bonds need to be broken, rearranged for you to have that consistency. So you need to heat that temperature and you need to heat it on time. One of the worst mistakes you can do is to put water on fire and carry ogi from the fridge and dump it inside. You will eat a cup by force. Amen? You just, just, go and, just go and prepare soup. You are ready for a cup. The lump that will be inside, if they stone you down lump, you can admit you. So what do you do? What I recommend? Carry your ogi from the fridge. Tease it, toast it small with some cold water. Once you begin to relax, add warm water with the cold water. Pour it small, small. Let it relax first. Let it relax, become a paste. The water you are putting on fire, don't let it be boiling hot yet. Now, slowly add that dissolved ogi that you, you softened, you know. You bribed it with warm water. Now pour it into that water. Of course, I can't now begin to predict volume because volume of, the ratio of the volume of water to ogi it's not dependent on your practice and the volume you want to come out and the thickness you need in the eventuality. So you slowly pour it in. As you are pouring it in, you are stirring it. So make sure the heat is transferred uniformly. I guarantee you, anybody will take that. Come add small sugar. I don't eat sugar, but if you add sugar, no, it's heaven. There's a science and a process to everything. Even cooking has its own techniques. Some people will carry away, do dump it on fire. Say, hey, we do you tear you. How will it draw? You have denatured all the connection. My time is up. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. But just go through the next slide for the purpose of just seeing it. Just go me to the you know, service gigs. There's a lot, but I'm sorry. And I, I warned you. Service gigs, management, logistics, training and consulting, grooming and cleaning, barbing salon, you have skin. Now you the bar for all the boys where they may be. Now you the bar for all the boys for Kutio. Now you the plate all the hair for guests in the queen's hall. And Idia, now you reach to open business. Now, skill now, you can go into cleaning services. Put a little bit of Christian gospel twist on it. Make it excellent. Spirit of excellence in you makes everything special and different. Uh, trainings and consulting, you are so knowledgeable. You spent 10 years in accounting or uh, auditing. You can put some training to that. You can begin to teach people SMEs, small businesses. Is your, is your book audited? You know, are, you, are your books in order? You can do that. Management and logistics. You can help people to manage a business, even if you don't have the money to start it yourself. Logistics. Help people transfer something from somewhere to somewhere or connect them to sources of information or material. Next slide. Uh, please, whatever you try to do, seek information and knowledge. Don't jump into it. Number two, start small and grow. And number three, have a structure. Register your business name. Have an account for that business. If not, it can backfire in the future. They won't take you seriously. Try to have a clean account. If you are paying yourself salary from that account, if it's 3000 3, per month, be consistent with it and grow your business. And that is all. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.